tell him shackles. Oh, bats. Oh, this room stinks of breather. I'm sure you'll make it your own. Is this my blood riding gift? I took great pain to get exactly the one you asked for. Oh, thank you, Father. No. Not till after the blood binding. It'll taste all the sweeter once Vlad is dead. Mm. You took the time! Your dad lost the key. Well, don't stress. I'm about to be bloodbound to someone I don't love literally forever, so being roasted alive would probably be the highlight of my day. It's only natural to get cold feet. Oh. You haven't told me how I'm supposed to kill Vlad. I was trying to protect you. We found out we could be executed for this. Executed for what? Hmm. The rings of Arianrod. <sighs> Forbidden dark weapons. Generations shudder at their very name. They must be activated by a tear from the victim's bloodline. How am I supposed to get that tear? No, that's my job. You focus on getting Vlad's first bite, which will give you great power. And then, it will place this on your finger. This is the ring of the mother. And you will give Vlad the ring of the son. Now, once he wears this, Vlad will be forced to obey your every command. I'll order him to his death. You might want to have a little fun with him first. <laughs> <laughs> Vladdy, 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 I was just about to come and get you. Oh. Sorry, mate. They said it was traditional, but... Uh, oh. That's a classic blood-binding prank. And by classic, you mean I could have died. Exactly. Vampire, Vlad, you wouldn't catch me whinging about a little bit of charring. Oh, I can see you're made of stronger stuff. You better believe it. I see the blood-binding rituals have begun. And ended. Unless you want to go to the ceremony without a blood groom. Aren't you even going to get me a wedding peasant? A wedding peasant? Yes. Ancient vampire tradition. As soon as the blood rite has been completed, the blood wife and blood groom sink their fangs into a peasant. Together. That's disgusting. It's a great honour for the peasant. Everyone's a winner. Oh, master. <laughs> bitey, bitey, bitey. As long as I don't have to bite you. Thank you very much. There will be no biting tonight. No biting? On our blood-binding day. Leaders of the Slayers Guild will be here. To prove to them we're serious about peace, we're going to share a goblet of low-sodium soy blood. Think of the Dracula reputation and the Ramanga clan tradition. I don't want to hear one more word about biting or vampiric tradition. I'm this close to calling the whole thing off. He can't do that. Can he? There'll be a bloodbath. Oh, sounds fun. Of Dracula blood. I'll talk to Vlad. Ingrid. I've thought about your third task. Come. Look, everyone gets first bite nerves. But you are doing the right thing. Am I? Well, you can't call it off now. There'll be a dust bath. I know. Oh, look, what's wrong? You can tell me. Is it the breather girl? Her name is Erin. Erin, Erin, Erin. She left me a note, warned me not to try and follow her. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Vlad. Really? I know how it feels to love a breather. So wrong and yet so... So, Dad, uh, hmm? are you trying to tell me something? What? No, 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 that it's all for the best. Look, you'll get over Eric, Erin, a couple of centuries. You've got some strange ideas about equality, but deep down you're old school bad. We need more vamps like you on the High Council. And fewer like my brother, am I right? Hmm. So. 
You come to your final task. Bring me one single tear from a member of your bloodline. You're plotting against Vlad, aren't you? What makes you say that? Experience. Optimism. Don't worry. There's tasks in the bag. What? Happy blood finding day, bro. I haven't got time for your games. Well, don't you want your present? Oh, what is it this time? Garlic flavoured chocolates. Ooh, another sun lamp. No. I thought it might help you to remember the old days. It must be so hard knowing that you'll never see her again. Living without her for thousands and thousands of years. Thanks, Ingrid. You're very welcome. Thanks for reminding me what's really important. Vlad, where are you going? You can't leave now. Oh, get out of the way! Listen to me for Erin's sake. Say what you like. I am not getting bloodbound to Adzi. Then thousands will die. If you insult the Ramangas again, then they'll take their revenge in blood. And the slaves will retaliate and everything you've worked for will be lost. Yeah? Why do you care? You never wanted peace anyway. After all we've been through, you still don't trust me. The only person I trust is Erin. So I'm going to find her wherever she is. You don't know where she is. She's a trained slayer. She's blocking your telepathic powers. Don't you get it? She doesn't want to be found! We should put our plans into action. Why the delay? It will not be seemly. I mean, we are, after all, guests of the Dracula. <laughs> you are joking, right? I never joke when it comes to vampiric tradition. Once Vlad's dead, what then? Bertrand, what is the meaning of this unexpected visit? I have a message from Vlad. Which is? Vlad wishes to apologise for his discourteous behaviour this morning. He begs for your forgiveness and hopes that there'll be no more unpleasantness today. Oh, I accept his apology. I thank you on Vlad's behalf. But why are you being so formal? This is a moment of joy. We should be having fun. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Not you. You're a girl. But us stags, we should be celebrating. Downstairs in ten. Bring Vlad. What's wrong now, Renfield? Nothing, Master. What have you got there? Show me! What are you doing? Shh. Winning my place on the High Council. You toady lickspittle. Where did that come from? In the coffin. No. No, 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 no. Showtime. It can't be. Tell me the truth. Am I? Well, am I? Well, am I losing my... It to all of us when we get to a certain age. Like, 640. 608! Oh. And he's losing his memory too. Uh, master, shall I just give them a, a decent burial? No, 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 no. Just let me hold them one last time. <sighs> Goodbye, my old friends. Wait a minute. No, 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 these aren't my lustrous locks. This is filthy girl hair. Really? Can't imagine how that got there. Fancy something? As long as you promise not to spike it with hair remover. <laughs> I reserve inflicting pain for family members only. 
Lucky them. So, loner boy, why are you hanging around our house of dysfunction? Well, apart from this, our oh, glamorous company, of course. No, really. Shouldn't I be asking you that? You obviously despise your family. We're vampires. It goes with the territory. I can hardly believe yours is any different. Devious, despotic, deceitful. Yeah, the usual. So how come you were living at Fang City with a bunch of filthy ferals? Everyone should spread their wings, don't you think? Not if you end up in Stench Central. Oh, I forgot you prefer hiding under Daddy's wings. Bat off. Just saying it like I see it. But why are you hanging around Vlad and his peace co? Because. Nobody loves you and you've no better place to be. Actually, I do. is wrong. If I had my way, we'd dump you back with your furball of a father. You're mean. Of course I am. I'm a vampire. A full vampire. Not a mongrel mutt. Look at you. Perfect. Come on, Wolfie, I just need one little tear. <laughs> it's not funny. It's ridiculous. Why are you doing this? Because I have to complete all my tasks in order to impress the High Council. Yeah, a bunch of stuffy old men. Why do you care what they think? Oh, wait. I learned this one in therapy. Because deep down, I'm just a lonely little girl who craves her daddy's approval. No, you're not. You're a ruthless psychopath who craves fresh blood and raw power. And you've been following me around all day. What does that make you? I just don't want to see you make a fool of yourself. Why do you even care? I just do... care. Okay? But I'm a power mad psychopath. Maybe I like power mad psychopaths. I don't need anyone. Exactly. Vlad's mother be attending? Sadly not. She's indisposed. That could keep a mother from attending a social occasion like this. Better this way, believe me. She'd only want to steal the limelight. Anyway, she has a health complaint where she's unable to travel at present. I heard about her recent dalliance. <laughs> Fleas, is it? <laughs> yes. She's still in quarantine. I didn't want to mar the celebrations with an infestation. Such an obliging host, as always. Ah. And Atze's mother, will she be joining us? She's already here. How are you enjoying the festivities, my darling? Hmm. She's having the time of her unlife. Hmm. When will Vlad be joining us? Soon. Oh, I hope so. I don't like to be kept waiting. Another drink? And I really don't like being lied to. Huh. Oh, I can recommend the Duchess of Warsaw. Young, fruity, excellent nose. Excellent face altogether, as I remember. Yeah. What's going on? Where's Vlad? He went to find Erin. Oh, you're joking. You need to bring him back. Don't you think I know that? One tear from my bloodline. Oh, good, good no. girl, Ingrid. Good girl. I mean, bad girl, of course. Whatever. Just get me onto the High Council. Oh, yes, on one condition. No more conditions. I've done all your stupid tasks. What more do you need? Just one thing. You. Me. Her. 
Your daughter is bad to the bone, and I like that. I will recommend her to the High Council if she consent to become my blood wife. Is he talking about me? Shut up, Ingrid. This is men's business. Uh, are, you, are you talking about her? I know it's an unexpected honour. It's unexpected, all right. I was warned that no vamp in their right mind would touch Ingrid Dracula with a ten-foot stake. But those that warned me were fools. They just didn't know how to handle you. And you do. Ingrid Dracula is bitter and frustrated. But Ingrid Romanga will be powerful and magnificent. Ingrid Romanga. Forget about your father and brother. They've never been worthy of you. Join me instead. No. N no. No! My name is Ingrid Dracula. I should have been your heir. And I'm going to prove it. I shall make the name of Dracula feared and hated throughout the world. And I can't do that if I'm stuck with an old coffin lodger like you. <laughs> How dare she? Well, I did warn you about the ten-foot stake. Ingrid! I was right! <laughs> You don't need anyone else. Thanks for reminding me. No. But you said you what? cared. I do, just not like that. I gave up a seat at the High Council for you. I'm sorry, I, I thought we were friends. We were friends. That's why you're still alive. Marry Adzi and unite the vampires. You have one shot at this. Peace is what you've always dreamed of. Go back and finish it. Vlad, I need to tell oh, you an apology. You were right. No, you were right. The Romangas are plotting against you. You can't go through with the blood binding. People will die if I don't. You'll die if you do. Have you got any solid proof? No, but... I've made up my mind. Your children disrespected me. Well, yes, but only Ingrid, and she doesn't really count. And what about Vlad, huh? Where is he? Uh, he's... Uh, Bertrand! Where, where, where? Ow, ow! Vladdy, there you are! There he is. Where have you been? Thinking. About what? My responsibilities. I am fully committed to this blood binding. All I ask is that you support my peace plan. Hmm? Of course. UV torch and I'm not afraid to use it. My father said he put you in a trance. I faked it. He's no match for a train slayer. See, you old fool. Why me? Why mess with slayers when you could have bitten anyone? Because nothing gets the party started. Like draining the blood groom's old love. Get back or your daughter eats sunlight. Then you will eat fire. I guess this is a standoff. Not really. <laughs> I thought I told you not to unwrap your peasant early. Oh. 
you really need that much garlic aftershave? <laughs> Sorry, mate. On the behalf of the High Council there, I can't take any chances. So, you okay? <laughs> no, um, you're doing a, you're doing a good thing. We've all made sacrifices, mate. The bloodshed ends now. Ingrid. Go stake yourself. Oh, what I said. I'm sorry if you misunderstood. Well, you will be. Hey, Vlad. Uh, oops. Sorry, man. Right on cue. Come to gloat. No. You threw away your true love to marry for power. Not power. Peace. Whatever. You're doing the right thing. Love is for breathers and idiots. Don't you ever forget that. All right. Let's do this. Order him to his death. You might want to have a little fun with him first. <laughs> It'll taste all the sweeter ones right in that dead. dead. <laughs> Fellow vampires, we are gathered together to join this vampire and this other vampire. Bertrand! Erin, what are you... And the wedding breakfast as if you didn't know. I didn't. I came in here looking for evidence against the Ramangas. So you're not in on it? In on what? Plan to kill Vlad with the rings of Arianrod? The rings of Arianrod? Yes, the plot that's going on right now, unless you go and save him. G go, go! Hold on. Just one. All oh, right. Require and charge you both. Just cause or impediment, bloody, bloody, bloody. Whatever, just get to the biting. I surrender myself to the first bite of the Chosen One. Mm. Stop the ceremony! I have a just cause or impediment. No, 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 I, I skipped that bit. Well, go back! I'd say and her father are planning to kill Vlad. <laughs> Ramanga Honor will brook no more insult. You'd better be so right about this. I am. The blood binding rings are the rings of Arianrod. <gasps> Forbidden dark weapons. Nice one. Don't be so ridiculous. These are perfectly normal blood binding rings. Then you won't mind if Renfield runs a few forensic tests. <laughs> Hand over the rings, Atsy. Leave her alone. <laughs> Nobody threatens my Vladdy. Ah, go, Dad. Ah. How did you know about the rings? Erin uh, told me. The Ramangas kidnapped her. She's a prisoner. Erin. Shh. 
he's dead. Get back if you value Erin's life. I control her every move. Don't I, Erin? Walk. Try anything stupid. I will get her to jump. All right, what do you want? You know what I want. The first bite of the chosen one. Vlad. Vlad. Um, she really shouldn't be able to do that. I'll do whatever you want. Just don't hurt Erin. <laughs> 